Hello guys and welcome to my channel and for this episode I'm going to share to you how I did this commissioned artwork design for this Bayong bag and I'm going to show it to you right after this very short intro. So guys, to start with, the client sent us two pictures of her pet dogs and she had a request to paint them together right in front of that biome bag. And that's actually what I did. Well, basically I made some light sketches using a pencil and I actually did some manual sketches and that's without the grids. And afterwards, I'm retracing it with the light brown paint so that the lines would be clearer and more visible. When rendering a design for a biome bag, I really prefer to have a thicker outline because it helps me to see it more clearly. And apart from that, it helps the design to stand out or to be more visible in a distance. So guys, this is how it looks like and I've already started on the name uh, of the dog and in here I've already written the word Bailey. Actually the name of the, her dogs or her pets are Chico and Bailey. This cute little one is called Chico and the taller one is called Bailey. So in here, I am applying the basic colors of the little pop. Uh, I'm doing it randomly and I have called this technique as staining, wherein you uh, apply b uh, those basic colors that you see in the picture. So I'm doing the same technique on the bigger guy, wherein I apply the basic color foundation that I see from the picture and I do it randomly. And this is the first coating. There would be the second coating after this, and then the next phase after that is called the detailing. And in here, as you can see, this is almost about halfway done. And this is what I have meant by the second coating, wherein the colors look richer and fuller. And right after this is the detailing. So in here, I have already added the details in most of the parts and this is actually almost complete. Well, in here, I'm not really that satisfied to this uh, blue bubble thing that you see here. I really wanted it to have a dark uh, blue outline so that it can have some connection to that name Chico because it also has that uh, dark blue outline. And in that way, it would frame the whole uh, picture as well. Well, you know what? While I was doing this, I was actually thinking about the owner. And I really find her sweet because, you know, having this done, uh, this is actually so sweet of her to have her pets painted on this uh, bayon bag because, you know, not all the time you can carry your pets along with you, especially at work or in the malls. So having them painted on this biome bag, it would help to remind her of their funniness, their charm and their sweetness. And this is actually a good form of uh, stress reliever. And eventually it will help her to relieve her longing for them while she's at work or wherever she may be. By the way, the colors that I used here were actually derived from the ones that I see from the uh, that from the fabric that we call the twilly. That is the elongated fabric that we used to wrap around the handle of the biome bag. And I did that in that manner 
so that uh, it will help to echo the colors and so that they won't clash and that they would be in harmony oh guys these are the pictures that were sent to us and this one is called Chico oh my gosh he's so cute and he's so furry And this is his friend. She must be a girl, I think. And she's uh, they call her Billy. Such a sweet face she has. Yeah, I think she's a female. Oh, cute. <laughs> And this is the finished Bayong bag with that Twilio on. Uh, that fabric that I have mentioned earlier, the, the one that we used to wrap around the handle. So these colors that I used here, they were derived from that fabric. And so now guys, behold the details that I did. So guys, I do hope that you enjoy this video and I also hope that you click the like button, you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're gonna be updated whenever I have new uploads. So thank you for watching!